Hey everyone, real quick before the video starts, um, XSplit fucked up again, so this is going to actually be the last video I post for a while. I'm gonna have to do some research on better recording things, this is the third time this week that XSplit has fucked me over. Um, second time today, actually, because I already recorded the episode once, it didn't record at all. Second time, I thought it was working fine, but I go back and look at the file, and 50 minutes of recording didn't even ha- didn't even, like, register. So, I guess enjoy what you can, because there's not a lot, it's not a full episode, but I'm sorry. I'll try and fill you in on everything that happened in detail next episode, during the building special. If it happens, that is. Because again, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to do some research on better broadcasters, broadcasting equipment. Because again, XSplit, just... I'm not even gonna fuck with it anymore. Hello everybody, soy Alejandro Del Fuego, and welcome back to Terraria. So... XSplit has decided to fail me again. It recorded all the audio from an episode I just finished recording. None of the video. And we had gotten a bunch of stuff. Like... You can see this item I'm holding? We went up and explored some sky islands. I got some guarding rocket boots, I found a horseshoe and a balloon. I combined the balloon, the horseshoe, and the beehive into an amber horseshoe balloon. Now a balloon increases jump height, I combined it with a horseshoe to increase jump height and negate fall damage, horseshoes negate fall damage. And then I combined that with a beehive so now whenever we hurt, we release bees. Also, that's the um, a pe the penguin from last episode in my that was in my farm. We got some more items such as where is it? The stopwatch, which shows how fast we're moving. We also got this tin watch, which does that. We got this giant bow. I also opened all the Christmas presents. All that stuff is in here. I can tell you what that was at least. We got two lumps of coal, because we've been especially naughty. We got the toolbox. We also got the candy cane hook, which is not better than the am the slime hook, because it only has one hook. It has farther reach, but still. Gingerbread cookies, star, stars, which are basically just Christmas throwing stars. We got holly, pine tree blocks, this hand warmer, which provides immunity to chill and freezing effects, eggnog, green and regular candy cane blocks, which we're going to be using for the house building special to build a candy wing of our house. Got some Christmas pudding and sugar cookie. Now anyway, um, so let me just quickly demonstrate what I showed you guys, well what I didn't show you guys, what happened earlier. So we now, with the mechanic, we can buy we can buy a wrench which allows us to place wire and like other mechanical things. So what we've got down here is a pressure plate wired up to this door. So we can walk up to the door and it opens and closes. This button basically is a switch that opens and closes the door through this wire. All doors behave this way. That was a really weird sound. Okay, let me just make sure I'm recording. Yes, this time it's actually going. Now, I accidentally misplaced some wire because something was attacking me when I was originally trying to show you guys and didn't end up doing it. Um, so, that's the goldfish statue. I hooked it up with some wires to a pressure plate down here. I'm just going to take that down so you can see it. That little pressure plate there. So when we click on it, a uh, fish spawns. And using this pressure plate fish statue, we can spawn as much as three goldfish, which I can then jump up here, harvest, go down here, and spawn some more. Now we can use these goldfish for soup, or we can sell them for money, because I don't think they're worth that much, but they're still good. Now, the goblin tinkerer sold me these rocket boots, which I used his reforging abilities to make it 2% de more defensive. And now we can fly all the way up here. 
Look at that. I can jump that high, and then I can use the boost to jump even higher. I don't take fall damage, and it shows me how fast I'm going. Now, I made this in between episodes. It was originally, um, I forget, it was annoying or broken. It had minus 33% um, damage and minus like 20% knockback. But I reforged it for like 3, 4 gold with the Goblin Tinkerer and made it godly status. Now it has plus 11% damage. Now let me show you what this thing does. It summons a little hornet which fights for us. Now we, this guy can just keep following us until we die. I believe. Could be wrong. And here it is, the Goblin Tinkerer. His name is Gnudar. I hope that I pronounced that right. And the thing about the Goblin Tinkerer is, based on their interactions, based on some of the stuff they say, always buy more wire than you need. Good advice. Too bad we don't have any money right now. Goblins are surprisingly easy, easy, easy to anger. In fact, they could start a war over cloth. Ah, uh, that's a good thing. That's actually a clue to how you can summon the goblin army. Now, I'm kind of done with the goblin army for now, but if we ever need to farm them later, we can. But, Demetrius keeps talking about pressing my pleasure plate. I told me I was stepping on. Um, okay. Weird. I just finished my newest creation. This version doesn't explode violently if you breathe on it too hard. Anyway. Reforging allows us to take a weapon and make it better. Um, Mystic Beacon, we don't want to improve that. It's already really good. Um, Lazy Star Fury has a minus 10% speed. Uh, we don't have enough in our saving, do we? No, we don't We don't have enough right now. Um, I'll come back and show you the reforging later. Uh, I'm going to have to go out and collect some more money. And yes, I'm dressed as Mrs. Claus. That was one of the things we got. So yeah, if you can look very closely, I got like little heels and my shirt. My shirt is all provocative. Also, I expanded our garden a little bit. I, I don't know what's going on with this jungle branch. It's supposed to be gr glowing, growing, moon glow. This is growing day bloom. This is actually working out pretty well. This is supposed to be growing um death weed. This one's growing shiverthorn quite well. This one is growing. Um, water leaf. This one's growing, um, blink root, which I'm trying to figure out how to see if it's blinking because it's not underground. I should just put wall behind this so it can grow. I mean, so it can glow so I can see if it's harvestable or not. And look, our, our um, our little horn, it can't get across the wall. It wants to attack that slime for so badly. Look at that. I will take damage from this wall before, but now I don't, which is awesome. Now, um, we actually found, do I have it, the mommy? Yes, I do. So, earlier what I was doing is, remember that Sky Islands we found? Remember the Sky Island that was above the... It was, oh wow, what do you say? It was above, it was above the dungeon. Now what I did during the unrecorded episode was, I started at that floating, I started at that sky island. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I started at that sky, oh look, this we're in space, so that means gravity is less and we fall slower. Masa, more masa, more masa. So we went over there. I talked to you about um, how you can harvest um, water leaf when it rains, moon glow at night in the jungle, and how harvesting it when it's in bloom gets you seeds and stuff. But I think I already explained that enough. Anyway, we started over here. We sort of just kind of... Ah, hang on. We just sort of made our way up here using rope. Uh. 
And up here we f is where we found the... What do you call it? The... Up here is where we found the horseshoe, which is really lucky, because I was not looking forward to accidentally falling off and falling to my death after we found it. And in the next island, we found this Star Fury. Now, what this guy does is, when it shoots, a star comes down and hits. These stars, when they hit enemies, they go like 40, 50 damage. Um, it's easier when we're not on the move, so that way we can actually aim the damn things. But here is where we found the other thing. And we're going to go back to that lake. Um, I placed that anvil and um, workbench there so I could make some more rails because we got stuck halfway there. Now we're not going to go back down yet. In fact... We're going to build some more rail over here. More masa. Wait, is that a is that a is that a strange plant? Give me that strange plant. There we go. I'm still collecting strange plants for the dyes, even though they're not really gonna do much for me right now. But they're still cool to have dyes, so we can make things look cool. Although I like the oh present fell. And it doesn't matter. The reason we're doing this is two reasons. One. Rail minecart tracks are really, really cheap to make compared to the alternative way to make like a sky bridge using. Let me just more moss of these. Bring up Star Fury. Star Fury. Star Fury. Yeah, the Star Fury can do like 50. 40 to 50 damage. We're looking for a sky lake, so all we found three sky islands which have buildings on them. Um, there are also sky islands that are made of clouds that are essentially sky lakes. Within these sky lakes, you can fish stuff like, uh, I forget what the fish is called, but it's one of the things that you need to get the angler. And by the way, the angler didn't move into the um, apartments. He actually moved into the underground house. He actually moved into the underground houses under that big tree. That life tree where the um, guide ended up moving the first time. But, anyways, yeah, we're on the lookout for uh, Sky Lake. And we're near the top of the map, which is why this music is playing. And this is track. Oh! Okay. Oh no! The other reason why we're using. We're using minecart tracks, oh my god, to build this sky bridge across to all the floating islands. Is because. Well, I said already, minecarts. Minecart tracks are cheap to build relatively. Okay, they're cheap to build, and also falling stars don't fall into them, they fall through them. So that way, in case, you know, a falling star comes up, comes down, it won't, it won't land on the sky bridge. We can still get to it on the surface there. Also, these cloud blocks, while cool, don't have any special purpose other than, well, being terrain and regular blocks. Now, these enemies are called harpies. They, um, they spawn in high areas like uh, sky islands. And they drop feathers and stuff, and, um... I didn't bring any bait, did I? Is there a chest down here? More masa, more masa. No, more masa. Anyway, let's quickly get some rope, throw it down there so we can get up here again in a bit, in a minute. Because now, while we're immune to fall damage, there's still we still there's still a problem of getting up here. 
So we're just gonna throw this rope as far down as it. No, stop it! Stop it. Die. You know, this is a problem for the bee gun. Take care of them, my bees! I defeated my 50th harpy! Yay! God dang harpies. I need to clean out my inventory also. Are you kidding me? Is that harpy swimming over there? Okay, that's as far down as we need to go. Let's just make sure. Yeah. All this money that fell down here while you're battling those harpies. Let's just grab some worms and head up, head back up there. I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, here we are, back up here. Now let's pull out my Fisher of Souls. And let's fish in the Sky Lake. I got a bass. What is a bass doing this far above... Above sky level? Please tell me I can catch one of those fish up there. <sighs> Cloudfish! This is the one we needed to fulfill that quest. And there's also a chest down here, under the water. Let's open it, see what we got in here. We got, um, flippers. It grants the ability to swim, which will be really handy if we will ever want to explore the ocean. We're also going to need to have as much of this money as we can because I want to reforge that um, Star Fury. But anyway, we got this um, Cloudfish. Let's go down here to the Angler who moved himself in here. Let's go over here and talk to the Angler. Spencer wants you. Yeah, I got it. Um. I hear the underworld that King, um, wait, did I give him the cloudfish? Do I, do I just click on it with him? I thought he asked for cloudfish. I could have sworn he asked for a cloudfish. Here in the underworld, the king of all demons is actually a fish. Just imagine the absolute power. A demonic hellfish. But, did he not, did he, did, did... Oh man. I could have sworn he asked for a cloudfish last episode. Did he not? Am I just making things up? I could have sworn he asked for a cloudfish. H how do you turn this into him? I know a cloudfish definitely is a quest item. Maybe not for this specific quest that he wants now. Let me just sort out my inventory real quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> 